some Mars and I've been sitting on the story we've been dodging snowstorms and other problems so I uh, haven't been able to do it now I'm going to do it now these people are asking to be ridiculed for asininity and I'm more than happy to ridicule them so go grab a cup of coffee sit back and relax we're going to talk about the cheddar cheese man DNA shows early Britain had dark skin. Unbelievable. A cutting edge scientific analysis said that Britain from 10,000 years ago had dark brown skin and blue eyes. See, what they're pushing here is a theory called Afrocentrism. They're shoving that down our throats when I was in high school for crying out loud. Afrocentrism. Everything revolves around Africa. Sorry! Uh, excuse me, you scientists. My ancestors came from that area of the world. They were called the Anglos and the Saxons. That's why I'm called a white Anglo-Saxon Protestant. Although I'm actually not, I'm an agnostic, but let's not get too technical. So I guess I'm a Wasa, white Anglo-Saxon agnostic. All right, researchers from London's National Hum History Museum extracted DNA from the Cheddar Cheese Man, Britain's oldest complete skeleton, which was discovered in 1903. University College London researchers then used subse subsequent genome analysis for facial reconstruction. And I don't the fact that Lighter skin characteristics of modern Europeans is a relatively recent phenomenon. That is a lie. You are a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. No prehistoric Britain of this age previously had their genome analyzed. As such, an analysis provides valuable new insights into the first people to resettle Britain after the last, last ice age. So right there, they are admitting, they are admitting that this wasn't the first people there. Even though they're saying that it's the first people there, which means they're contradicting themselves. Analysis of Cheddar Man's genome, the blueprint for a human contained in the nuclei of our cells, will be published in journal and will also feature uh, Upcoming, upcoming Channel 4 documentary, the first for secrets of the 10,000 year old man. Cheddar George Tweet. Cheddar Cheese Man remains had been on Earth 115 years ago in Gauss Cave, located in Somerset's Cheddar Gorge. Subsequent examination showed that the man was short by today's standards. About five foot five and probably died in his early twenties. Professor Chris Stringer, the museum's research leader in human origins, says I've been studying the skeleton of cheddar cheese man for about forty years. So to come face to face with what this guy could have looked like and what striking combination of hair, face, icons, dark skin, something a few years ago we couldn't have Imagine yet that's the scientific data shows. Fractures on the surface of the skull may suggest he met his demise in a violent manner. It's not known where he came, how he came to lie in the cave, but it's possible he was placed there by others in his tribe. Others in his tribe, huh? Have you found any tribe there? I think not. That is bullshit. Natural History Museum researchers extracted DNA from part of the skull near the ear, known as the Petrus. At first, project scientists 
Professor Ian Barnes and Dr. Selena Brace weren't sure if they get any DNA at all from the remains. Now, this thing sat in a glass case for 115 years, and I'm supposed to believe they managed to get some DNA out of it. That is incredible bullshit. They were in, in luck. Not only was it DNA preserved, but cheddar cheese man has since yielded the highest co coverage, a measure of sequencing accuracy for a genome in this period of European I history. It's not European history, you idiots. Most Mesolithic or Middle Stone Age. They teamed up re with researchers at University College London to analyze the results including gene variants associated with hair, eye, and skin color. Now, at this point, people are saying, okay, what does artifacts really know about this? Uh, because I'm sitting here telling you this is part of a, an agenda, a political agenda, and it's well known what the agenda is. It's a mental disorder of liberalism. But to prove my point, let's take a look at what the Cannabis News Network has to say about this. How Ch Cheddar Cheese Man Flips British Identity. There you go. No one won't know what Cheddar Cheese Man's bundles called him while he's work doing his hunting and gathering 10,000 years ago. The DNA sampling taken from his skull as well as plenty of other stuff, including the color of his eyes blue and texture of his hair curly. But the most striking we know now about Cheddar Cheese Man is that he was black. See, this is called Afrocentrism once again. To be more accurate and is less culturally loaded than Essentially anachronistic description, he was dark to black skin. They call him a black, black person from Africa, that's what they're doing. This is to try to derail people from thinking that they're, uh, they were whites out of... I'm trying to pretend we don't even exist. Whites out of that area. Well, I'm sorry, my ancestors were probably the Angles and Saxons, at least in part, and they came from what we call Great Britain today. Well, I'm sorry, that's the way it is. I'm not black. I have fair skin, green eyes, and blonde hair. And I really don't care whether I have other DNA in me. It wouldn't matter one bit to me. I don't care, but I do care about uh, accuracy, and I do care about history or vision, and it boils my blood when I do this. Unbelievable. There are not many people with dark skin and cheddar today, most recent U.S. UK census tells us that 2011, only 2% of the population of Somerset County, where the village is situated, reported themselves as being black and most minority ethnic. UK average is about 14%, but in contrast, more than 94% of Somerset residents in 2011 self categorized as white British. It's a salutary to realize that at some disappointing muscle. With it past, all that would have been reversed. So, they're saying basically that we're all Africans. Once again, I am going to start, I am so going to start ridiculing this theory. These people deserve to be ridiculed. I'm going to say it one more time for you idiot scientists. My ancestors came from this area. I have white skin, blonde hair, greenish eyes I am not going to sit here and let you idiots 
tell me that I'm some African. I'm sorry. I came from that area. Other people came from Africa. They know their heritage. Anglos and Saxons and that type of person is my heritage. They can be proud of their heritage. I'll be proud of mine. Screw you people. I, you scientists, you really boil my blood sometimes. I did not come from Africa. My ancestors were not black Africans. You people are crazy. And you ought to... How in the hell you're even out on the street is beyond me. I have no idea. Unbelievable. As a matter of fact, Mars, I better uh, stop before my blood pressure goes too high. Thanks for watching.